Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we actually have one of these real littlest backpacks. Um, now I have watched quite a few YouTubers like Nia the Craft to do things like this and I actually came across one in one of my local stores. Um, it was on sale for 2 99 so I wanted to see what we get inside. Um, I've never seen many of these before so I'm excited to see what we get inside. So as you can see it comes in this plastic box container. Um, we have the logo on the top, we can see through, and we have a, like a silver metallic bag inside. They are age 6 plus. On the side here we can see that we do get four surprises. So I'm interested to see whether the ones shown are the ones that we actually get inside, or whether we can get some other random ones. On the back as well, and um, we have what we find with some items, and there is an actual size um, like bottle here which is very cool so hopefully we can um, get something good out of those. So I'm just going to um, open up the box, we'll have a little look at the bag, the quality and the items kind of included. So we'll have to remove these little tabs out of the way. We can take our bag out and if we just take the um, leaflet out as well we can see that it's like a little school book here, we've got binder in the middle. Um, you could actually um, cut like along here and take the two edges off and maybe make like a cool little background for some maybe like toy photography, cool things like that. So it's a pretty cool idea. So inside we do get our bag, like I say it is like a silver metallic. We have like a rucksack texture on the back. Um, very nice. We do have the straps that go around your arm. We have the whole strap and we do have a little like bayline clip here so we can clip it onto our bags. So it's silver most of the way around. We do have these black zips and if you can see here on the zip it does have RL for Realist Littles which is a nice little cool touch. And we do have a little zip on the front. No, they do work, they do open. There's not much room inside of the front pocket, but it's just a nice little feature that it does actually open and close. So we're going to open the main compartment. Um, we can see that there's not a little bag inside, so we do just have the items. So I'm going to pull them out one by one, and we'll have a look what we get. So the first little thing inside seems to be these little packets of stickers. Now they are in a little resealable bag. Um, just to kind of keep them safe. So we take them out, we can see there are two sheets of stickers. So the first one comes with like candy floss, a little um, like mint, some ice cream. And we can see, we can see there, they do start to peel off. They are little tiny stickers. Now compared to my hand, they are very, very small. And on the second sheet, we do have some of this adorable strawberry milk. Cupcake, get some donuts and a lolly ace. Again, some really, really cute stickers there. The next item we get, it does smell actually pretty strong. So the stickers actually have a scent to it. Now, I'm not sure if it's from the stickers themselves. I think it, it might be because these kind of smell a little bit more like, like a bubble gum. And this smells extremely strong of strawberries. So I'm not sure if it is actually from stickers or if it's something else, but that's a cool little feature that I noticed as I put it down. The next item we have is this actual size bottle. Um, so the lids don't come off, unfortunately. You can't like really inter... Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, we can. They do twizzle off. They are a little bit difficult then at first. So we have our little light green lid. Um, you can see it's got like a little twizzle lid. It was stuck a little bit with glue. It did kind of hit my finger a little to get it off, but they can actually come off, which is amazing. And as you can see, there's room inside, so you could actually put like a little bit of water in there or something if you wanted. The pattern along the bottle itself is like these strawberries. Some of them have seeds, some of them don't. It's a little bit of variety, which is really cool. And just to check, it does stand on its own. So if we pop the lid back on, um, just because we did get this. I just want to check it against this. So it does say that this is the actual size of the product inside. So just for measurement's sake, if we put that there, we can see that it is actually quite accurate to the size of the bottle, if not like 100% accurate uh, down to the bottom, to be honest. 
it is very very accurate so I'm so happy that we got that so we could see um, that inside I don't think it'd be like airtight to keep any water in it so I probably wouldn't recommend it so I'll just lie that down the next item we have inside is this cardboard and on the back if we flip it over it is a very very tiny notepad it's got quite a few pages in it surprisingly considering it's so tiny we have a little effect so it's like a little rainbow effect we've got blue on the bottom kind of like a yellow in the middle all the way up to pink i like that we have the little um realist littles um logo in the bottom and we do have like a spiral cord along the top to make it look a little bit more like a notepad as you can see if we scroll through each of the pages are the same right the way through to the very back one so that's really cool love tiny stationery very very cute and i believe this is the final item in the bag so we do have this um, translucent, like light blue, glittery clip to hold like little pieces of paper together, little paperwork, things like that. So it's very cute. So we can actually like pop that on our notepad, and just to keep things together, we can actually pop them in there. And as you can see, it just holds them nice and securely together, which isn't like cool it's not the most useful item that that we could have got inside um but it's nice to just keep everything together like that and it is most definitely the, sn the stickers that have a smell to them and then if we look at the inside of the bag now we can see like all the stitching and everything seems to be well put together we don't have many like frayed strings or anything so they do seem to be quite um like well made to be honest they do also have a little label inside with the logo on. And like I said, there's no like stray, stray um, stitches or anything that feels like it's coming apart. I'm able to fold parts of the bag in and out and I don't feel like they're going to come apart. Even with like a bit of tugging, they seem okay. So I feel quite confident clipping one of these to my bag on the go um, without them falling apart. And then the items that we did get, we can also pop them back inside of the bag to keep them safe. Maybe even with some other items, as you can see, there's still quite a bit of room in there. So if we do get more than one, you can put more items in the bag. And that is our real littlest um, backpack. Very cool, I must admit, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I think the stationery is adorable. I think the bag is pretty good quality. Like I say, even with a tug, I've not found like a stray um, stitch that I think would come apart, really. Um, there are, like I say, some little strands there that I've pulled out, but it doesn't seem to have affected the bag in any way. It just seems to be like a little extra um, that maybe wasn't cut correctly or something. But all in all, the bag's well put together. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. So I'd like to maybe look for some other bags in the future. So let me know guys if you ever um, unbox one of these yourselves, if you've got different kinds of bags, let me know in the comments below and I'd be excited to see what else these have to offer. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.